good YouTube, it's Adam from Ima Music Mogul. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get that Drake Noah 40 Shabib underwater muffled sound that 40 has made famous. Now I know 40 has been on the record saying he just doesn't use a filter to get that underwater sound. He actually down samples that audio to get that muffled sound. In this video, I'm gonna show you what's actually happening to the audio and why you probably don't need to go through that down sampling process to get that sound. You actually could just use a filter, but not just any old filter. And I'll tell you which one in a moment, but before I do, we gotta kind of go around and show you what's actually happening so you understand how to use that filter that I'm about to show you. So let's get to it. So right here, I have some piano chords that we want to muffle out or Dracify or Fortify. So the way 40 processes the downsampling, he uses various plugins. You could sort of replicate it in Logic Pro, but you really can't because you're missing one very important feature when it comes to downsampling. And I'm gonna show you what that is. If I go ahead and bring in Logic's Bit Crusher, turn down the drive, you can leave the resolution as is, and you can go ahead and downsample right over here. Now it doesn't tell you the sample rate at which you're downsampling to, but it's basically multiplied down by whatever your session's sample rate is set at. So for example, this session over here is set to, uh, set to 44, one. So every time I move this up, it's gonna be downsampling it by that multiplier over there. So if I wanna go to about 4,000 hertz, I'd go to 10. If I wanna go to 2,000 hertz, I'd have to go to 20. Now the problem is, once you pull this up, this downsampling knob over here, you're gonna get a lot of artifacts in your audio. Now, anytime you lower the sample rate, you're effectively lowering the highest frequency that can be played. So when you're downsampling audio, those higher frequencies, the system won't know what to do with it. So in turn, it turns into that gritty, artifacty, bad sound. So in this example, we went down to about 4,000 Hertz. The highest frequency that can be played at that level is 2000 Hertz. And the reason why we know that is because of the Nyquist theorem. Now, the Nyquist theorem is basically the rule which states that a digital sampling system must have a sample rate of at least twice as high as that as the highest audio frequency being sampled. So for instance, our session over here is set to 44.1. So if I go over there, just double check that, it's set to 44.1. The highest frequency that can be played within this sample rate, according to the Nyquist theorem, is 22,000 hertz. So basically the Nyquist theorem is, let's say your sample rate is at 10,000, the highest frequency that can be played is 5,000 hertz. So just divide it by two, and that's the Nyquist theorem. So now to get rid of those artifacts, what we would have to do is bring in a low pass filter to take out all of those artifacts. But in Logic Pro, we don't have a steep enough slope to actually physically take all that out at the right point in time. So for instance, this that we dance sampled over here is about 4,000 Hertz. We would have to sample all the way down to 2,000 Hertz to take out all of those artifacts. But because this slope is not steep enough, we're not actually physically taking out all of those artifacts, which in turn, we have to slowly roll this more further back. And you're not getting the same sound because those artifacts are still in there because our slope is not a steep enough slope. So. To get a proper down sampled sound on this piano, I'm gonna move over to FL Studio because it has a way to do it in there. All right, so here we are in FL Studio. I loaded in the audio. I'm just gonna double click that to load up the audio file. I'm gonna right click in here and select Edit in Audio Editor. Next, I'm gonna click on the sample rate over here. And in the sample rate box over here, I'm gonna type in the rate that I want. So 2000 Hertz, and I'm gonna click Resample and click Accept. Now I'm gonna go ahead and export this audio and move back to Logic. All right, so here is the file we exported from FL. This is what the piano sounds like at a sample rate of 2000 Hertz. So from that demo, we can hear that there is some anti-aliasing happening. Basically anti-aliasing is just a filter. So there's some filtering happening to take out all those artifacts out of that audio to give us that nice muffled 40 type of sound. So now I'm gonna finally show you what type of filter I'm talking about to sort of duplicate that using just a filter. So over on our piano over here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a brick wall low pass filter. Now Logic unfortunately doesn't have a stock brick wall low pass filter. 
So what I use is Ozone 9's equalizer over here. And if I go to one of these points, click it, I can change it to whatever filter type I want. So I'm gonna go to a low pass brick wall. So the way a brick wall filter works, essentially, if we just look at this example over here, anything past 10,000 Hertz will not be played back. So it's gonna completely cut out all of those frequencies at 10,000 Hertz. So now if we go ahead and apply the Nikers theorem to this EQ, we can basically replicate that down sampled sound using just this filter. So this audio over here was set at a sample rate of 2000 Hertz. So Nikers theorem tells us divide that by two and we get the maximum frequency that is allowed in that sample rate, which is a thousand Hertz. So I'm gonna type in a thousand Hertz over here and our brick wall filter is now gonna act as like a down sampling machine. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what that sounds like. Now let's go ahead and compare it to the FL version. So the FL version sounds a little bit more darker, so maybe the anti-aliasing there was a little bit more aggressive than just cutting it off at a thousand hertz. So what we're gonna do over here is pull this down by a little bit more. And what I usually like to do is just cross the point by another 50 or 100 hertz. So let's try 50 to see what that sounds. We're gonna go down to 950 hertz. And let's go ahead and take a listen. And that's pretty much identical. Like that is very close to the FL version that actually used the process of down sampling. This one, all we did was use a brick wall filter, the Nikers theorem to get this similar sound. All right, so there you have it. That's how you get that down sampled sound using just a filter, but not any old type of filter. You need a brick wall filter, plus the understanding of the concept of the Nikers theorem and you're good to go. So if you do have any questions on this, we can go chat in the comment section below this video. But on that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something new and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.